Have you heard or seen this new commercial? If you live here, fun is your thing. If you live here, tough is your thing. Smart is your thing. Caring is your thing. If you live in Massachusetts, community is your thing. Yeah, that describes me, except maybe for the fun part. So what is it for? United Way, some charitable foundation? Nope. Guess again. Here's more. Since 1972, the Massachusetts State Lottery has provided over $25 billion to help cities and towns with the things they need most. If you live here, giving is your thing. Giving? Actually, taking is more like it. Yep, that's an ad for the Massachusetts State Lottery, the most successful in the country. Last year, the Massachusetts Lottery made a net profit of more than a billion dollars. State Treasurer Deborah Goldberg told The Globe it was a proud moment, but Massachusetts citizens had to lose a billion dollars to make her and other lottery supporters proud, mostly coming from those least able to afford it. The biggest contributors to that one billion dollars live in the poorest cities in the state, like Chelsea, where, as I've told you before, residents gambled an average $1,200 each in fiscal year 2016, a huge chunk out of their average income of just over $22,000 a year. Those who contributed the least to that same billion dollars, not surprisingly, residents of the richest towns like Weston, giving, as the lottery would put it, just shy of $80 per person. The Massachusetts State Lottery is a flawed source of revenue. It's Robin Hood in reverse. Is there a better solution? Yeah, taxes. As one pretty smart justice once said, the price we pay for civilization, a price that can be distributed more equitably among all of us to fix roads and bridges, pay cops and firefighters, fund education. Listen, I know the lottery is here to stay, but at least spare us this. If you live in Massachusetts, community is your thing. Community may be our thing, whatever that means, but patronizing disingenuous ads are not.